monitor the payment of social grants to beneficiaries. Mpumalanga has also confirmed that two doctors have been infected with the novel coronavirus. Let me bring in Tumelo Motoho. He's standing by uh, to give us an update as to what's happening there. Hey, Tumelo, what are you witnessing there? Well, Blaine, you'd understand that those two people that confirmed, of the two doctors that were confirmed of coronavirus, they're from, they're from the same hospital in uh, Mami, Mami, Tla, Mami Tlake, uh, in just in the tip of Mpumalanga at Mami Tlake Hospital. Those two doctors, they are aged between the age of 28 and 29. One of the doctors uh, uh, apparently traveled to Cape Town and also to Johannesburg. That's where the doctor actually came back and then uh, 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 infected the other doctor with the coronavirus. So those two doctors, they are currently on uh, self-isolation. They are also being asked to quarantine themselves. The Department of Health here in Pumalanga, they have sent out a statement saying that they are also looking for people who have, might have come into contact with these two doctors that uh, they contracted the, the virus. One of the doctors already in Limpopo, where they come from, they are recovering from home. They are being asked to go and be in self-isolation at home. And the other doctor is still there at Mamutlake village in the tip of Pumalanga. But these doctors, they are bringing the number to three of the doctors that have confirmed with uh, the coronavirus here in the province. We remember that about three weeks ago, we reported that a doctor at Lowfeld Private Hospital also contracted the, uh, the, the virus when was traveling overseas. So already these doctors, they are out of work with a, with a, a, a health center that is already stretched by this, uh, the, this novel coronavirus uh, uh, in the province. Uh, Blaine, let me just give you a sense of where we are. We are at, actually at Manzi. Uh, uh, Mbuzini just is just on the border of Mozambique, Swaziland. Here it's actually on the other side, just a, a, a minute here is actually on, uh, we are actually looking at Swaziland, but the border right there is porous. People have been coming in and coming out of the uh, the country uh, just like that, but since we've been here for about an hour, we actually, the, the military has just arrived. They've been trying to stop the people not to come into to South Africa, but this is a daily habit from the people that come to this country without passport, but also illegally crossing the border into into South Africa. So it's a, a process that has been happening all over. And also, you'd understand that actually people here they are getting grant from South Africa, so they cross here to come and get grant from South Africa. But let's speak more with uh, 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 Minister of Tourism, Afesh Mathalela. He lives just uh, uh, around this area. Ntate, just talk to us about. The situation here, we see now people come and cross the border just like that and they are not taking precautions and we've been asked to be in our homes. No, thank you very much. Uh, this is the borderline, as was indicated, between uh, Swaziland and, and South Africa. This where we're standing is an illegal uh, border crossing which has been in existence for many years. But we must have ever indicated that to since the lockdown has been announced, the mobility or the movement of people has been curtailed, but people are still trying to come to South Africa illegally. And they are South African also are also going to move to Swaziland illegal as well. But we are pleased that at least now the South African National Defense Force has been deployed. Their visibility is encouraging to stop many people from coming into South Africa. So we're hoping that the, they are going to maintain this beyond the 21 days because it should not be the issue of these 21 days, but it should be a permanent solution to the problem of this illegal crossing between the two countries. The challenge that you have with this community is that they are, they are related to each other. Uh, uh, we've got Mahlalela's this side and we've got Mahlalela that other side. And therefore, as a result of that, there's a, there's a, there's a family relation. And for them uh, to then visit each other, they feel it's easy to just use this illegal crossing. But we are hoping that the South African National Defense Force uh, will, will assist in making sure that we maintain law and order and make sure that people doesn't cross willy-nilly so that we're able to then deal with the challenges of the coronavirus and see how do we best work together to stop the spread. But in that we know that these people, they actually come to the country to actually get social uh, uh, services grant. Uh, and that on its own is also illegal because they're not South African citizens. They're coming here to get social grant and this is what they use 
almost every day. We've seen people running around here far from the distance coming into the country. That's just, that is illegal on its own. So people coming to get social grant that are not actually supposed to be getting, isn't it? Yes, it is. But the challenge that we have is that uh, South African laws, unfortunately, does allow dual citizenship. <coughs> and those people have got a both citizenship of South Africa and 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 Swaziland. And therefore, the, 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 the payment grant system, unfortunately, is unable to track and detect that this person has got a dual system. Of, of citizenship and where his or her citizen allegiance is. And therefore, in essence, they, they reflect the South Africans because they've got their citizen because of the dual citizenship. So it has been there for years. Uh, and, uh, 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 and therefore, they are not necessarily getting the, 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 the grant illegal. They are getting it legal because they are south african citizenship in terms of their dual membership but in terms of them residing they are not residing in south africa they're residing in swaziland which means they are their first citizen is swaziland uh, but they are using their second citizenship to get a, a social grant in south africa that's where the, the dichotomy is and the challenges that we are confronted with but in general around the issue of the of the observance of the lockdown uh, my own observation for the whole of where i've traveled around here is that the the biggest problem is your social distance people they are not used to 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 to, to social distance uh, to them is business as usual they are working together they are working together and when we ask them why they said no 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 we are not used to this thing of moving away from each other. And that's where the biggest problem is. Uh, if we are able to, to, to mobilize our people to understand the importance of social distance, we will be able to confront this virus and be able to win over it. Okay, thank you so much. That was uh, the, minister, the Deputy Minister of uh, Tourism, Dr. Uh, Fish Maltalela, who lives in around this area. And the, the military are here. They are trying to stop people. We can hear people talking in the background because they are trying to cross the border into South Africa. We've been driving around this community also. We've been seeing people that are not really observing the, the twin one days lockdown. People uh, in the street, a lot of people also on the, in the street. But also we understand that uh, the MEC of Health, Sasekana Manzini, will be visiting in Skumansdal to later today to actually screen the elderly that are going to be getting that, that pension grant today. Wow. Lane? Thank you very much indeed uh, to Melo, to Melo Machoko, there live for us uh, near the Eswatini border there. Report.